We need to produce 24 hours result. That means that we have to work uh, three shifts, 20, 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours. We've been working very long, long hours, but at the end of the day, people's life matter and the country comes first. I'm a microbiologist by profession. Looking at these organisms that cause infectious diseases is something that I'm passionate about. So at the moment in Timor-Leste, the country is facing probably the hardest moment from the COVID-19 pandemic. The Delta variant has uh, entered the country. It's transmitting rapidly through the community and we're seeing very high case numbers and also seeing more severe cases. Timor-Leste has done a, an amazing job actually in responding to this global crisis and for a long time managed to keep COVID-19 cases restricted to within quarantine and which really helped to prepare for what would inevitably come. Around March, there started being cases within the community and cases spread quite quickly. And, and then in early April, uh, Timor-Leste was affected by terrible floods, particularly in Dili. The flood pushed the crowd towards uh, a certain area together. They lost their homes because of the flooding. People uh, have been forced to take uh, evacuation and shelter. And I think that's uh, that's one of, one of the reasons why we have a widespread uh, coronavirus. During the flood, we stopped for 24 hours. A massive amount of work put in on Easter Sunday um, from the laboratory with uh, everyone getting around to try to clear the water out. The guys on the ground really did a tremendous job. To be back on our feet within 48 hours uh, after it was affected by flood, it was, there was something that is unimaginable. It was a really concerning time because there were so many people who were forced out of their homes and into temporary shelters, into uh, temporary accommodation to be able to survive that few weeks uh, and so it just pushed a lot of people together and I think was unfortunately just the perfect transmission ground for COVID-19 to spread rapidly. And after that we started to see the spike of cases. I'm a paediatrician and have been working very closely with the paediatric department at the National Hospital here in Timor. And amongst the paediatric doctors at the time uh, was uh, Dr. Carla Madeira, uh, um, whose husband, Nevio Samento, happened to be one of the first microbiology trained scientists in the country. He'd recently returned from having done his masters and was really passionate about being able to establish um, services for diagnosing infectious diseases in Timor-Leste. I saw the opportunity of working with Menzies to increase my knowledge in in area of uh, microbiology and infectious disease and that's why I joined the team and I have been working with, with the team ever since. Yes, mm. and then it already grew morphologically, it grew the... Uh, we became very good friends over this time and, and have, have plotted and planned together and worked really closely with the Ministry of Health and the uh, National Laboratory to try to think through how to respond to some of the infectious diseases challenges that are already here in Timor-Leste, but then over the last couple of years to apply some of those same principles to try to respond effectively to COVID-19 as well. The lab needed to be ready because the pandemic is happening and we knew the capacity of the lab needed to scale up. Then the collaboration between National Health Laboratory and Menzies worked to expand the, the National Health Laboratory. And I, I could say it was a very, a long ride. And introducing the testing capacity for COVID-19 was a big challenge. It wasn't a small thing to undertake at all and it has required significant investment in the infrastructure in the laboratory. It's required a lot of training but it's been really great over the last year and a half to see how much um, that has uh, seen the work of the National Health Laboratory grow. When the COVID-19 testing started uh, in about April 2020, the capacity of the laboratory was around 10 to 20 tests per day. Uh, but in response to the increasing need, um, the capacity within the laboratory has grown. And so the laboratory um, is doing over a thousand tests a day, most days. We are expanding to all the district. Now we have five referral hospitals and eight satellite areas where we can test PCR COVID-19 in the municipalities. I think coronavirus is here to stay. And, and it has been a good learning curve for National Health Laboratory, for, for all the scientists, for all the frontline workers to prepare more for what to come in the future.